If you haven't heard about Anchor, it is a free app. When I say free, I mean free. The creation tools allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast and it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with a minimal listening ship. It's everything you ever need to make a podcast all in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Okay, 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 what's going on, good people? This is your boy, Torian Hines, aka, AKA The Distorted, and welcome to Distorted Cosmos. Today we have with us Miss Maya. Miss Maya, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to the people? <laughs> what's up? My name is Maya. Uh, I'm just here to have a good time and talk about some deep convos. Deep convos indeed, because that's what we do here. We talk about the mind. We go, we go, you know, round and round and round in the cosmos. Because you know, this is a big place. And my philosophy is, everyone, everybody, is their own cosmos. The same way we gravitate and center around the sun, it's the same way we gravitate and have people in our circle, right? So we create our own cosmos. We create our own universe. We have an ecosystem in within us. Right, we, you, we, we have body parts that are moving without our knowledge. Our body functions and moves in our sleep. We are a universe, so therefore we create our universe. Hence the reason why we're here right now. So, yeah, tell me a little something about you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I am about to be 27. Um, I am married. I have two beautiful little girls who are honestly a little crazy Mm. um i got an aries and a leo so very very much sass very much attitude very much hard-headed um (laughs) but yeah it's a little crazy but other than that um you know i'm just here i feel like my entire purpose for being here in this world Mm -hmm. is to help impact people you know so i get you know that heartwarming feeling whenever someone messages me and they're like hey you know just so you know like you motivate you've motivated me today yeah and for the people who don't know we actually met on snapchat she's a gym rat she, I don't. She may. I don't know if she's gonna put that out there throughout the end of this. <laughs> definitely, Jim Rash. She in that thing every morning. Like what? What five? Five o'clock, roughly. Yes. So I've been getting up at four twenty every morning and getting ready to be there by five. Okay. Very specific number. I like four twenty, but that's another topic for another day. So what? So what's your normal route? Root. Well, okay, explain to the people your routine because anybody who's followed you on Snapchat, by the way, we're going to put her information down below so they can follow you. Uh, I believe she has a link tree that she has a series of links that you can check out and, you know, subscribe. Be sure you go check her out. But once you explain to the people your kind of like day to day routine of things and some of the things you're into, like especially how you make that money, because that's one of the things that I like. <laughs> about is you know I, I like to empower people to make money not only mentally and spiritually but we all know shit we no matter how spiritual and mental you are shit costs around here you know what I mean right shit costs we all <laughs> in a situation right now where we could use an extra two three four five racks on us so how would you you know so what so what's your day-to-day thing and what's your money maker okay so Day to day. So here's how I start my day. Okay. Because your morning routine is so important. Your morning routine allows you to create the rest of your day. So it allows you to be more productive. It allows you to just really run your day like the king and queen that you are. So what I do is every single morning I get up, I drink, I actually started doing this. I drink a cold glass of water because I've noticed, you know, whenever you're sleepy, and you wake up, you're not tired. Your body's just dehydrated. So whenever you drink that cold water, it immediately wakes you up. So cold. I do that. Cold. You um, need it needs to it needs to be cold. Why not you need cold a little ice. Why not warm room temperature water with lemon? <laughs> because 
because if you okay if you really think about it mm-hmm. your body is is quote unquote tired right so of course the the coldness just helps to like it gives your body a shock almost like oh shit like, okay let's do this yeah yeah so that's why i say cold water because i've tried to do warm water and it's just the cold just really gets you and, and you know I, I definitely can't see the shock of value of it because if it's room temp right your body is room temp so therefore it's not really gonna yeah I see it. Exactly. And yeah, and honestly, um, I don't need pre-workout when I go to the gym. And I go pretty hard. Anybody, you can ask anybody who sees me in the gym and know that, like, they'll tell you straight up, I do my shit. Like, you're a runner? You're a weight gal? What? Weights. Weights? Okay. So I focus mainly on, or mainly? <laughs> I focus mainly on <laughs> weights. Um, I do one day of cardio. That's it. Okay. One day. Okay. So what? But yeah. So what? So a- after your after your workout session, you normally post like your your uh, routine in- inspo. How did that come about? My what do you mean? Like my routine inspo? What do you mean by that? So after like I've noticed a- afterwards, you were like give give the people a message in the car, or you would tell them to. Uh, Go get your jumpsuit. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay, so I am an ambassador for this brand called Lisi Fit. And quick story about Lisi Fit, okay? Because I feel like I need to say this. So I founded Lisi Fit a couple months ago, okay? And it was just one of those random ads that popped up on Instagram, right? So I yeah. saw it and I was like, oh, that's dope. Let me, let me check it out. And so I ordered an outfit and I tried it on and immediately I was like, oh my God, because I didn't, I've never seen like their prints. I've honestly never seen anybody else in my gym personally wear anything like that. You know, everyone typically wears, you know, sweatshirts or long sleeve t-shirts, you know, Um, very much so, how do I say this? not necessarily confident enough to wear like just a sports bra and leggings you know yeah. and so whenever I put it on I was like yo this is the one this is it this and is- so um from there I just posted them I posted myself in their outfits every day and I actually manifested being an ambassador so at the time they didn't have any ambassadors okay I just know I just continue to be consistent with posting them every single day um and then i wrote out in my journal yeah i'm so happy and grateful now that i'm a lisi fit ambassador right and i i want to say it was maybe a month after a month later um they posted that they were looking for ambassadors and i was like oh i literally manifested this right so i applied and Like within a week, um, I, it was in like a week or two, but I got the email that I was an ambassador. And before that, I really, I want to add really quick before that, um, one of the outfits I intentionally took pictures in, right? So I intentionally like went outside, took like professional, professional-ish picture, wow, <laughs> pictures. <Yeah. laughs> and with the intention that when I got told that I, was officially an ambassador i was gonna post those pictures yeah and that's what happened see? and that's literally what happened so you know i just got through reading rick ross's book uh time to boss up and that's one of the things that he harped about like you know if you want to be a brand ambassador shit, just first off say that but first thing i'm, I'm gonna check to see if you are already repping my brand, so when so when he's talking about Luke Miller, when, when he's talking about Wing Stop, like are you talking about these things as well? Are you already being a brand ambassador? Because that's speaking things to existence. That's writing it down. That's manifesting it. See, a lot of people don't want to talk about the magic and shit, right? Uh, I mean, a lot of people do it and be like, "Oh, I'm just so thankful. I'm so blessed." But 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 you were like, "Yo, that's magic. Like you was doing magic, like." You know, they were like, no, 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 the, the, the Lord blessed me. He didn't come down here and hand it to you himself, did it? No, he, he, <laughs> you, you, you put it out there. He lined some things up for you in your lifetime. He get the right phone call, the right email. 
right? Boom, here we are. This We got to see the magic in all these small things. And I'm glad, hey, up your shit, up your shit. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that's in the link tree, is it? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, my my discount code is in my link tree. Okay, bad, bad. Cause we, you know, we we want to. I'm not about missing nobody's money around here. You know, what I'm talking about. So in, in any way <laughs> that we can, you know, figure it out some way, shape, form, fashion, let's jump over into it. So next, you into what is it? I don't know. I don't know exactly what's the stock exchange you do. I don't want to call it by the wrong name. So I'm let you explain <laughs> what okay. they. Uh, yeah. Yes. So. I am a part of an educational platform that teaches people how to trade in the foreign exchange markets and crypto markets, right? So it's not necessarily stocks. Foreign exchange is the exchange between one currency and another currency. So yeah. for example, like the US dollar against the Japanese yen, like one of the examples, right? So there's like a handful of them, okay? And so initially, you know, I'm learning myself how to trade, but the company, you know, they they did it to where, okay, you know, you're over here, you're learning how to trade, but you know, if you wanna show someone else this opportunity, we're gonna pay you for it, right? So you don't have, you know, the network marketing part is optional. It's completely optional. Um, when it comes to this platform, you are investing in yourself and investing in your education. Like, I don't get any part of that what you invest in, right? Yeah. Um, I don't get any shares. Like when you fund your account, <laughs> I don't get any of that. All that I'm doing is simply plugging you in to the system and the company, you know, initially will pay me for that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So if I got a dollar today and the yen is worth what? 88 cents and then tomorrow <laughs> that, that, that yen is now worth what? Nine, 98 cents do i sell it we'll have um it. so what, what, what's a, a dummy version like like a simplest version as possible in, in a trade for like one dollar so <clears throat> how it works is okay there's there's two different ways that you can trade you can trade through um a fast-paced trading which is called mm. hfx high yeah. frequency trading and then you have forex so the the market fluctuates all the time all day long it, it literally it moves all day long the yeah. beautiful thing about this specifically about trading in general you know you can go in for a buy and still make money you know when the when the price is going up let's say that when price is going up you can still make money when price is going down you can still make money yeah. so either way you can still profit okay all right well she there you go you can make money e either way up down left right got there <laughs> <laughs> all the way around all the way circles. around hey you know got to turn up around them motherfuckers. so <clears throat> now that we got that official shit out of the way you know you know I, you know it's always a certain amount of time you got to let, let 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 the intros go by before you start talking about the real nitty and gritty and things so what's really on your mind like like what 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 type of <clears throat> things are you experiencing in life right now because you know this is a trying time during the middle of the, of the pandemic and i know a lot of people is out of work so one of the things that some people is going to find on your link tree is a uh, only fans because you're in the adult entertainment in industry mm -hmm. correct was were still a bit big big folk <laughs> yes so okay so back in november couple like last year a couple months ago um i well okay let me go let me rewind in october i started working at a strip club as a waitress right so it was all right you know and and i'm gonna put this out there right now you know tiktok videos are so people exaggerate things okay because not because everyone just assumes that you know either being a waitress or being a dancer you're gonna immediately make so much money and that's not the case you know you actually have to work for it like work, it's yeah. not handed to you you know and so um i got that realization when i was just a waitress and i was like okay like this is cute but i can do better you know yeah, yeah. and so from there um I, from there i decided i wanted to be a dancer right 
Okay. And so I went up to one of the managers at the place that I was working and he told me I needed to lose 10 to 15 pounds. So if you know me, if, you, if you've seen me, if you follow me on any social media, you know, like you said, I'm a gym rat, okay? I am not by any means fat. I am fit and thick at that, right? So after that, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go try somewhere else. Well, I tried, you know, a couple places. Um, they quote unquote, weren't taking new girls. So this one place that I finally was able to get my foot in the door to, yeah. it turns out that place wasn't for me. Like I didn't feel safe. Um, and they didn't have a kitchen. What club doesn't have a kitchen? You know, we'd be hungry and shit. Man, I so, just left a strip joint. Then we went there for the food. So, yeah. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, <laughs> and it turns out, um, you know, I, I won't go too much into it, but let's just say something happened Christmas night. And it made me realize that I really need to get out of this place. Yeah. Um, and thank God I did because something else happened after that. But, you know, like I said, I won't get into that. So going going forward, if you, I'm not sure if you've been keeping up with the current events. I'm pretty sure a lot of us have. We kind of don't have a choice now in this matter. We, and we ain't doing shit. But uh, <laughs> so they, they're putting, they're, they're trying to put a ban saying that they should shut down, shut down the strip clubs sooner. Um, what's your take on that there? Um, I feel like it's a little unfair because you do have girls who go in literally at, like, you know, the OGs, the veterans, they, they typically will go in at two, you know, the, the after hours clubs are open to like five or six. Yeah. So they'll go in at two and they'll get off at four or five or whatever, you know? Yeah. So a lot of people, as far as I know, that's already in effect in, in Dallas. Um, I don't know about Fort Worth. I don't. I don't know if they changed there or not. But yeah, man, I think it's unfair. Like a lot of people are gonna have to resort to either working during the day or. I mean, shit. Hey, I, you know, to me personally, I think it's all. It's just an opportunity to grind harder. Like we, we, we. There has to be a time to where we have to switch, switch it up. Right, we, we haven't created right. anything new. We haven't done anything like, I mean, well, we, there has been a lot, there's been a couple of people to create new things, like, you know, a Tesla, it's just a big ass Barbie car, right? That doesn't mean I'm not getting one. I got one on pre-order now, two actually. So, wow. I'm, I'm saying, but it, it's not a new concept. An electric car, electric cars have been around for centuries now. Right, as long as a regular car, not century, sorry. As long as a regular car has been around an electric, somebody has had an electric variant. They don't talk about it because that wasn't the boom. That's not what they're, you know, want us to think about. But, you know, the, I'd say the newest thing would be spaceships. You know, now we got shit that go up to space and down recreationally. That's new. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but but like outside of human action, hu human thought processes, and human things, we, it, it's it's the same motion, but the delivery method it has changed, right? So going to exotic clubs, right? That 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 notion isn't going to stop. M dudes and chicks alike trying to see some ass and some tits shake, trying to see the <laughs> spin, right? I just, I just believe we got to be a little more in innovative, you know. And as you said, uh, there has to be things to offer protection because we want to be sure that you ladies feel safe out there and everything. So, but th there's other ways, shape, form, and fashion. Uh, like you said, you already started with, with the OnlyFans, right? That's that. That's another way, you know. That that it. I just don't don't see the uproar. I understand, you know, you feel as if shit, hey, I'm, I ain't trying to close through no Rona, no violence or whatever. But shit, if you got another grind, you got another grind. It, yeah. I say you gotta be be like water, right? No matter what, no matter what's what's obstacle is put in the face of water, it finds a way around it. True. Even even if it builds up a, a little bit, right? It still builds up to find a way around it. <laughs> that's true and you know what i feel like if more people read the book rich dad poor dad let me tell you something okay if i would have read rich dad poor dad months ago 
before I left my job that I was at for nine years, things would be so different. You know, I, in a way, I am glad that I did because it was able to allow me to see more opportunities, right? But I feel like if, if more people read that book, a lot of people would be thinking differently. Yeah, yeah. So do you look look back on the choice of leaving that that job? Like what? Like, like I, I mean, I know it's a, you 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 just said you're glad about it, but would you have like stayed a little longer or moved differently or kind of like planned a little better? Like like yeah. Or, or do you think you you did everything on on the money to end up where you are now? So I definitely, I would have stayed a little longer um, just because I've, I've noticed, you know, whenever, whenever I started the trading business, I yeah. started it obviously while I was there. And so I didn't realize it at the time, but now when I reflect back, I realized I was actually doing so good, you know, like I felt like I didn't have enough time for both, but in, re in reality, I was making it work. Like, like it was popping off, you know, um, but that doubt, that self-doubt, that worry, you know, that we all have deep inside our subconscious, it came out and, you know, it, it put pressure on me and stress and, and it, it made me think, oh shit, I can't do, I can't do both of these. Like I need to focus on one when in reality I could have handled both at the same time. Was you comparing yourself to you or was you comparing yourself to others around you and your or was you gauging yourself due to your cir 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 circumstances or was it just like i'm just overwhelmed um honestly a little bit of all <laughs> a little bit of all and of course you know when you have when you have um people in the business because when it comes to the network marketing side you know you can there's ranks that you can hit so when you have other people hitting these ranks and you're like you're just a, a bystander okay. like okay i feel like i can do that but you know i felt like i couldn't because of the amount of time that i was putting into my full-time job what well, do you feel like you put you putting out all of your efforts in there now um i'm not gonna lie to you no i mean but you quit your job for this according to you i know I know. And that's that's the thing. That, and that's something that I've had to like really work with myself with um, the, these past couple months because it's like I knew that I could do it, but I just didn't know why I wasn't putting in the effort to do so. Um, so if you had a young lady right now, say she's about eh, 19, right? She's looking to move something in her life and make some, something shake in her life, but she's kind of at a crossroads and she just needs a word of wisdom. Knowing what you know now with where you are now, and she's about, she's at a crossroads, right? Well, and she, she, she just needs, you know, she, she's on the cusp of life, right? Regardless of what decision it is, every day we're always on the cusp of life. Some of those life decisions, like having kids, getting married, being with a being with a person who we don't feel as if we need to to be with, but we should be elsewhere, you know, or take taking a job or staying on the job or share our mental health. Like, what advice would you give that young lady? Um, or man, or him, her, yes. whatever pronoun. <laughs> yeah. um, so what I would probably say is you have to stop and you, you kind of have to stop and take a step back and assess yourself like okay assess what's going on think yeah. to yourself who do I want to be who do I want to become and think is the routine that you're doing now is it is it helping you get to to that level get to that person that you want to be if not then okay maybe maybe it's a lack of mindset so i would say start grabbing some books like i would suggest maybe a couple books mindset things just to get your mind right because everything starts in your mind right yeah. your thoughts turn into 
um, your reality, essentially. So first thing I would say is just assess. Heart, like assess your life right now and assess where you want to be from there you can come up with a plan right so come up with an effective plan come up with steps on exactly what you need to do in order to get to your future self mm-hmm. and just act accordingly you know have your morning routine you know just have that plan for real because if you don't have a vision of where you're going in life, you're gonna be stagnant, you're gonna stay stuck. You're gonna stay in your comfort zone. That's another thing too. Get out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Like if you're comfortable, go go do something you've never done before. So you know look at that looking back to where you were at at 18, 19, 20, and where you are now. And where you have to, to go because you're just you're below 30 so you're you, you still got some growing to do like it, <laughs> I, i'll tell you i'll tell you i'll tell you about my my philosophy on the timeline of age next but where but do you where you currently are are you where you envisioned you would would be by by, by this age so i'm not gonna lie to you I didn't even know where I was headed until a couple months ago. Whenever I joined my trading business, that's when I was able to physically see in my mind where I was headed and where I'm going to go. And that's that's one of the things that I absolutely love about this company because not only do you learn how to you learn a skill that no one's going to be able to take from you, right? So when it comes to trading, you know, when the whole pandemic happened and a lot of people are out of jobs, the ones who knew how to trade were still making money because there's no cap in the foreign exchange market. It runs seven, over seven trillion dollars every single day. Yeah. You know, there's enough pie for everyone. So. Right. Okay. So, my philosophy on age, right? We all know that when you're 18 to 19, you you kind of quote unquote officially grown, right? So, so that's the so I believe from 18 to about. Eh, about 30 right that's that's our young adult years because th- i believe at 30 years old we use that as a milestone to either see where you are in life to see if you've been <laughs> putting in that work or to to like okay i'm gonna start here i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna get my life together in my 30s and i'm gonna change and i'm gonna grind through my 30s that way i can you know chill in my no grind in my 30s so that I can maintain in my 40s, you know, chill in my 50s, retire in my 60s. That's kind of the American dream timeline. Some people combine 30 to about 55 because that's kind of the adulthood time frame. But but but, but even in that adult adulthood time frame, you see, we still have segments within that that we're still sliding and moving. So that kind of coincides with the have a plan and have a good have a t- time frame because shit you know if everything in life we all are given the same 24 hours in a day right we all know that we're gonna live and die eventually but we keep ourselves healthy now so that way in a few years we would be able to reap the benefits of the seeds that we've sown today but you know uh folks kind of don't see that timeline of, of their life they they, they kind of just want to just roll through and you know um i tell people hey you you got to have a plan you got to have a solid plan especially if you want to you know if you want to live a certain kind of lifestyle right like like are you married yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Well, you. Yes. I'm not sure, sure if you said you, you, you were married on the, while, while we were recording or whatever, but you're married, right? Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> most most people kind of they have this ideology that that they want to be married by a certain age, but then I've been married three times, right? It was some trial and error in the mother. I'm not, but everybody was like, oh, that's not Christian life <laughs> of you. That's not Christian. Like, I don't necessarily believe being locked into a situation. Uh, that doesn't benefit my mental health, right? And I'm not saying uh, 
everything had to do with my mental health. Each one of my first two marriages ended for their own reasons. But, you know, I, but people they hold on to religion so much to where they feel like I have to live by the Bible, like verbatim. And then, so they, they get themselves stuck. And, but anyway, we can come back by. Um, people have a certain timeline of when they want to be married or when they want to have kids or when they have, want to have their career start or when they want to buy a house or, you know, in a certain time frame. But I'm like, who gave you that mind frame? Who, who gave you that thought that it has to be this way? Like, like start now. Right. The sooner you start, the sooner you're able to obtain these things. But if you never start in the right direction or down the right path, how are you going to obtain these things in a timely manner? All right. Exactly. What my favorite phrase is think bigger, much faster. Yeah. Because if you think about it, say you give yourself three hours to clean your house, right? You're going to get your house cleaned in three hours because that's what you told yourself. But say you gave yourself an hour, 30 minutes. You're going to get it done in that time frame because that's what you told yourself and you took action. I believe with less time that that comes with more of a plan, right? If you like, okay, I got I got four hours. Okay, I know I, I can knock out this room this time, this room that time, this room. You tell me, but if you tell somebody you got 30 fucking minutes to clean this whole motherfucker up, first thing they're gonna do is start looking around, right? <laughs> what needs to go first? <laughs> I need to start scheming because there ain't no time to get all this big shit. I ain't gonna get all the meticulous shit done, but the, the big things, right? Versus four hours, like I said, you she, she should look pretty goddamn good if you done stop cleaning in four hours, but you know. Planning. Yeah. It's all about the mindset of the person engaging in the task, I believe. So, do you? That's true. Yeah. I believe we, we got to engage engage people's crit, crit, critical thinking, right? And, that, and that's just simply because we can encourage people to think bigger, faster, right? That doesn't mean you fucking step over the <laughs> the obvious to try to make it. Yeah. Because you're thinking bigger, faster. But, you know, think bigger, faster, but think, you know, I just will say, be precise in how you, in how you get bigger. Don't, don't, uh, as Will, Will Smith said, uh, he went to a, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but one of the guys was yelling out, uh, no paras with the uh, will something procrastin analysis paralysis analysis right don't don't get paralyzed in analyzing everything you so calculated that that, that you get stuck no no paralysis in analysis that that was it no no paralysis in analysis so it's a, but it, and, and that's that kind of is the other end of the think bigger, faster, right? And that's because some people think uh, be thinking so much that they just don't go. Like that they don't miss sure. the opportunity or they like, oh, oh, I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about it now, the opportunity has passed them by. Or they don't thought, or they're in a position to where they have to perform, that they, they have to go, but they can't because they're thinking they're too much in their own head. They're fucking stuck. So, but if you move, but but if you think about it and you're a critical thinker, and you're able to like, you know, think on your feet, boom, boom, boom. I'm a, I'm a combat veteran, right? So we had, we literally went through training to think on our feet because it was life or death, life or death. And I believe in life, it has to be the same perspective, like not necessarily for everybody because we all do our own thing our own way. But for me, what what works for me may not work for you, what worked for you may work for me, but it may not work for somebody else. What, what works for us may not work for somebody else. You know what I mean? We, we, we yeah. all have, have our own things, but for me, I, I I can move quick and I can cal calculate things. I, but I believe that that also comes from rep, 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 reputation and things in, in, in life. Like I exercise this way, I'm a sort, sort of a gym rat myself. Um, 
But when I'm running, that's my meditation time. Mm. Like I'm focused, I'm doing it. But a lot of people, I'll be saying I'm on a trail, I can't breathe, dying. <laughs> but I admire them because they're trying. I'm over, yeah. there, I'm over there, you know, I'm just cruising. I'm, I'm thinking about my plans for the day. I'm thinking about my kids. I got to come home and get ready, but they miss the bus. I'm thinking about, you know, I'm getting my life together. I'm, I'm seeing my visions. I'm I'm putting things out there. I'm connecting with, with my higher self all while, while running, you know. But some like people, they they can't think about a topic while, do, while performing as well. So I want people to think big. And, and move, move faster. God damn it! Think about it now. <laughs> <laughs> but just think. 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 Envision. You know. Please, please envision it. Think it. Please, man. So what? What else you going to chop? You chopped up for? I got you for another few few minutes here. Anything you you want to talk about? Any thoughts? Any last last minute? Hurrah! Any questions you got for me? Um. How do you, okay, because I don't think you, met, I mean, I know you have kids. I don't think you mentioned it on here. You probably did. How many you have? Yes. How do you manage so many kids? <laughs> so that just comes with, there's no rule book, okay? As you know, in, in, in marriage, there's no rule book in marriage. Mm -hmm. Um the way to manage is to first off, know yourself, be honest with yourself about you. Because every aspect that you have is coming out in your kids. So when, so when everybody like, oh, my kid is so bad, my kid is so bad, but you gotta think about it. Your kid is a part of you and your spouse. So if you know yourself and your spouse knows their self and you guys are honest with who you with who you are and honest with each other, then it'll be easy to identify the problem in what your child is going through. I have six different personalities, right? <laughs> and they're composed of a couple of people. Mm -hmm. And that's because I have stepkids step kids as well. So I got to deal with another personality besides the mother, but I have to be able to pinpoint the mother's personality that's coming out within the child. Like my my daughter has a habit to where she, uh, she likes, if she doesn't like conf confrontation, right? Mm -hmm. So if she's getting in trouble, I'm like, hey, hey, she'll dip out. Mm. I'm like, I'm not finished. <laughs> <laughs> I finished talking to you. Like, come here. But I, but I had to remember her mom doesn't like confrontation either. But her, she's on the opposite spectrum. She's on the fight or flight. Because when she was younger, that's how she was too. Now she's just on the fight or flight. Right? I'm, I'm out of here. I'm dipping. I don't want no problem. And I'm not. If any, if everybody else getting in trouble, it wasn't me. I wasn't involved. I wasn't even in here. But that comes from knowing the. The mother so that way now i can better address the problems so that that's one of the things that comes with having six six kids is knowing your kids getting to know them on a personal level because everybody they're going through their own stages like the baby the, with, the, with the five and six year old they're they're the youngest they share a room they have their ups and downs but they're kind of ebbing and flowing um the middle my middle daughter she is nine. She's learning about different things and different emotions. So this is kind of like her first time, like whether the gears are turning about nine. Then my 13 year year old, well, so, so I have a daughter that's nine and a son that, that that's 10. They're at the point to where their gears are turning. They're starting to understand more. So they're kind of like, okay, I, I see the world. I can actually comprehend what you're telling me now so now they're kind of looking at things a little differently trying to learn a little more then I got 13 year olds I think they know it all already and I'm like y'all don't know shit and I proved to them that you know <laughs> shit on the daily and they'd be like but I thought I'd be like exactly you were thinking but you weren't thinking critically you weren't thinking you were thinking what you wanted to think instead of thinking about the problem at hand you were thinking from your experience versus what you're actually facing. You're thinking instead of thinking about the objective, 
right? You, you, you know, you, you, you just went off your wants and your desires and your feelings instead of thinking. And that's because well, the reason I say that is because my daughter, uh, she wants these shoes, right? I just want the shoes. I want the shoes. H how are you gonna get them? I want you to buy them. No, that's not the right answer. How are you gonna get them? <laughs> right? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do to, to make me? You know, say okay, you you're deserving of these shoes, and she knows me. To for me to be deserving of anything, you got to put that work in. Mm -hmm. I get up and go to the gym every morning, right? I lost hundred some odd some odd pounds just to be a thick fella. Nice, right? good but job. I put, I put that work in. I had additional tools to help me out. I got a gastric sleeve because I was I, I said if I get to a point to where it, I'm too fat, I'm gonna take some drastic measures. 300 some odd pounds was that point. I was, I just had a baby. I just had uh, my son E2. And I was like, how am I gonna be here as a father? And I can't fucking breathe. I can't walk, I can't pay, pace around. So yeah, learn your kids. And once you learn your kids, you uh, harp on their strong points and you support them but you also have to give them shit to do to keep their mind occupied. Kids need, kid, believe it or not, kids love schedules. They love schedules because they know, okay, at this amount of time, I'm doing something. So they get the run of it doing something and they go out and do this shit and they handle this and they be like, look, we did it. I, I had fun. Or if we don't do it, there'll be anticipation on doing it and they'll be kind of mad because they're not doing it. Then they like, now what I do with my time, then they start being bad they don't have anything constructive to do with their time. They, as you said earlier, these young ladies they need, need, need a schedule, a plan. Our children need the same thing from us because we are their gods, right? Yeah. They pray to us, they cry to us, they come to us, mommy, daddy, anything. And they're looking at us to provide an answer and a solution. We have to guide them that path. We have to start now on giving them a set solution in a set path so that they can learn by having, I get things done in a timely manner, like brushing my teeth on time. If I brush my teeth on time, I'm able to watch a little TV. Now I know every night, if I want to watch TV before I go to bed, I have to brush my teeth, I have to do my homework, I have, I have to check off all these boxes so I can chill at nighttime, right? But they have to get in the routine of doing that sometimes. And my daughter, she just moved with us like a month ago. So we have to start a whole new routine. She's Third, third, thirteen. So she's been the only child for thirteen years. So now, now she's here. Now, most the family of everybody is like, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Sorry, I gotta tap that message real quick. Tap back on the watch. Uh oh, oh, we lost her. All right, so we had had some technical difficulties and we kind of dropped off there kind of instantly and we both had a switch around, switch a rule. Mm -mm -mm. But um, yeah, so the way we had to get there is ba basically knowing your tribe and knowing your village and knowing how to play off everyone's strengths and encourage everyone um, consistently and keeping everyone on the routine and the schedule. Cause like I said earlier, kids love to have schedules cause they know if they do something ahead of time, or if they get like a little extra time, it's like a reward to them that they can play a little bit or have a little piece of candy or do something. But we have to create those, those moments in those life in their lives to, if you work hard and you do right by yourself, right? Then you get rewards as you get older and these are life lessons that carry over well into adulthood because i've met a, a lot of young ladies who they you know they just don't care about themselves as much as i care about myself and i kind of raised myself as a child i had a lot you know i had a, everybody, everybody got a rough story or some rough patch in their life Mine was my, my childhood so i didn't have a lot of the fundamentals so but that, that came me not having those fundamentals, I learned that I didn't have those fundamentals when I was playing with my friend. They were like, 
bro, you stink. Like when last night you took a bath? Like do like do you take do you take do you take a bath every day? I was like, not every day. I'm like, nigga, you supposed to take a bath every day. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but you know, I was a kid. Nobody was telling me that thing. Nobody was instilling these basic fundamentals in me. So I I, I learned a lot of a lot of shit on the fly from being scolded on, you know. Mm-hmm. But that but that I mean, you know, kids are cruel. And if we don't teach them to, um, you know, have good hygiene or to have good practices, then they will they they will grow up to try to learn these things at a later on time in life. And then, you know, we then we sitting here dealing with the generation of men that we that we, that we have on our hands now, entitled, think everybody's supposed to get them something, like don't want to go to work, like they, my 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 little brother, he's he. He's an interesting young fellow, but uh, he, he he puts off the perception that everyone owes him something, an apology, or we're supposed to give him something just off the strength that he's my brother. I love him to death and I do anything for him, but when I'm out here grinding now, I'm grinding for these kids, six of them. And he got a sizable number of amount of kids too. I'm like, so you should understand why I can't just you know, give, give, give. I, I would always pour into you mentally, but monetarily, these kids are snatching from me, right? But it also takes a, a village chief, <laughs> right? To know I have to cover these kids. I have to provide an environment for them to, to thrive in, not just an environment, but an environment for them to thrive and grow so that way they can actually be something, be something better than what I am now. I'm 34. I think I've I've done okay. You know, I, I it, it, are, are there things I could have done better? Yes. But I think I made enough choices, enough wise choices within my 34 years to be retired. I still have a day job, right? I still I'm 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 a 5G solutions in, engineer. So I got a job. I got a decent job, but I'm I don't have to work it. I'm retired from the military. I'm, I think that comes from making pretty good choices. Yeah. But I, if, but you know, that came from me thinking criti- 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 critically. So I try to imp- implore those same critical thinking skills into my children every day. I play them a song of some sorts and I make them think about it. I mainly try to pick a song that they gonna listen to and be rapping and singing and doo- 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 doo. okay, what does that mean? What would you, you you literally just rap this whole song? So let's so let let's take the first verse. What is he saying in in that first that. verse? What is he referring to? What does that mean to you? Like like uh, why Keisha? I don't know, but, but you know everybody thinks he's talking about a chick. I'm like you know he's talking about syrup, right? They were like no, he he talk about a girl. I'm like bro, do you listen to the words that he's saying? <laughs> Like literally, do you listen to the words? Like, do you understand what these people be telling you? You just walk around here singing. You in love with with Waikisha? First off, why would you like a chick named Waikisha? Why the hell people name her Waikisha? <laughs> right? She may be a nice person, but that to me, I I, I would just want to look into that. <laughs> what, what, what's your mama like? Because you know, if she named you Waikisha, how old was she when she had you? And the reason yeah. why I say that is because understanding the mind of who you're dealing with again that comes that you're you're bearing children with 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 this 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 person or you have the potentially to mate with this person which means you have the potential to bear children with this person like each male and female if we have an interaction right it's just human nature of to understanding who you're interacting with but male on male, one, it's all about understanding that that way you can know how to approach that person. Because sometimes you can't just approach certain people certain kind of way or they'll snap, right? Unnecessarily, just because they're the type of environment and how they were raised, right? But you will never know this, you know, if you don't take time to get to know that person. Children are the same way. 
except you live with them so you think you know them because you're raising them but do you actually know them you know their favorite color do you know the things that they watch outside of what we put on tv for them when we first turn the tv on or their tablet you know do you know what else they go into after that because you know kids you put on something they'll watch it for a couple of minutes and they get the tapping swipe 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 it's <laughs> Yeah, so it's like, you know, what else are they interested in? I know, you know, your 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 babies are kind of young, but like mine, he's about the same age as yours. He's three. Your yours is four, right? Well, she'll be four in April. Yeah. So look so, so yeah, so they you know, curious, mind wondering. This, this guy knows every piece of construction equipment that we pass by. Like not oh there, no, he there's a back hole, that's an excavator, that one's this, this is a crane. Ooh, like, who told him all this right but it's but he takes a generally liking to machines and knowing how things work like the inner workings of things and how big things can accomplish big tasks like grand things he he's excited about that so i bought him some magnets nope that that, that was my other son this one uh, he's still a baby yet, right? He 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 he's still a baby. I know he like big things. I can't go buy him a, a fucking backhoe or a tractor, but I bought him a little small one. My other son, he likes to build things, right? So to cater his his things, I got him some magnets. These magnets can come up with their squares, triangles, and trapezoids. You can make all kind of shapes, uh, all kind of shit. He builds up houses and all that shit right there. But you know, it, it's, it's it's what festers his knowledge that in cars so you know i try to cater to the creative side but also instill structure there's mm -hmm. only certain times we can do this shit because if we don't do that we don't brush our teeth on time ain't nobody getting no can and you know if, if, if it's past a certain time candy's off the table completely because bedtime is this time. You're not getting no candy for a certain amount of time for bedtime, you know? So it's a it's a series of things that if you miss that landmark while also playing and everything. So I try to run a, run a two-tier house, a very creative, open, free, but also on a schedule. Because because mm -hmm. like, like everybody tells us, there's a time and a place. But I also have to run that same scheduling with my wife. I mean, that's from me to her because I'm so busy being the fucking chief of everything that I also have to realize that my second job is being a husband. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's very important that people don't lose that one on one pure, pure relationship with your significant other. So it's a lot of part to managing the kids because the kids also comes with managing your mental health and managing your time and also having time with your spouse and managing and also see checking on their mental health because as much as we don't have nobody to one-on-one -on -one check on us we have to be the one for our spouse that way our spouse can be there for us hopefully we're pouring into each other right but sometimes we get overwhelmed with tasks where we just you know me because she 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 she, she, she caught me and was like you know what I see what you're trying to do. You're moving really fast. Like, breathe, calm down. But I can, I can, I can see his dedication. And that's because I was thinking about every move I made. So she can see his dedication. I'm thinking about it. I'm calculating, right? So she, she was, but that, that, that was like a confirmation of reassurance that like, I see you. I see you grinding. I'm supporting you, you know? But she's not afraid to, to fucking tell me, you know, too much of a good thing is a bad thing because you ain't been in bed last night. I was up waiting on you and I fell asleep. And, and, you know, I'm trying to go ahead on you. You know, <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah. But being, you know, it, 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 it's important that I have to have a work life balance. And that's why I tell people have fun in what you do, but also be cognizant of the people in your life. For sure. And I believe, it's very important. Yeah. And I believe that that's what it takes to run a village. Like, you got to be cognizant of yourself, the people around you. Uh, you have to be honest when you can and can't do something. <laughs> it's a lot of shit I can't do. Uh, everybody lo looks for me to solve every problem. I look for a solution, but I don't know what that solution is at all times. But I have to, I have to look because I'm the one who, who they come to 
for an answer. Sometimes, though, you know, it 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 it's all it's overwhelming. You know, trying try to be sure that 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 thing stay 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 afloat. So that's 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 my philosophy. I know it's a long ass answer, long drawn out, five or ten minutes, but that's my philosophy on what it takes to uh, have six kids and maintain them. It takes all that. <laughs> and then some. Okay. And then some. Okay. Of course. What does you got for me? Um. Crystals. Honestly. Crystals. Yes. Right? Okay. So, what are? Okay. Honestly, my brain just went blank. So what's your favorite type of crystal? Have it. Okay, I don't, uh, okay, I'm not too familiar with crystals, okay? I just know um, the, the couple that I have, one is for like good luck, good fortune, and one is for mm. protection. Is it black? Or... The Was one it... for protection is black. Yeah. The one that's for good fortune and good luck is green. Green, so it's probably a jade or a citrine or a green. Sorry, jade or adventuring or some of that nature. Those are usually the good luck ones, and also um, the other one I say is black. So it's probably a, a obsidian or a uh, what's onyx. It? Obsidian onyx. Onyx. It's a, it's onyx. So, yeah, so those those are you know the the protection crystals and the, the money crystals as we like to call them. Um, yeah, so crystals come in a variety of shapes, forms, and fashions. Uh, what what do you, do you think they're useful in your journey? Honestly, yes, I I noticed because um, lately, for, honestly, the past like month or two maybe even more I haven't been wearing them like I was I noticed when I was wearing them that's when you know things were like happening yeah. more so in my favor yeah. and um, you know with the protection with the onyx I didn't feel as drained you know like I felt I felt good um, and honestly I'm not sure why I just stopped wearing them Probably I honestly just... don't know have you so were you did you buy those or were you get gifted them? I bought them. You bought them. And did they tell you about cleansing them? Charging? Yeah, so one of the ways that they told me um was that I could run it underwater. No? Uh, no. So first thing <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. I would Well educate me. Tell me. Okay. So again, I'm I'm not um that I have to put this this disclaimer out there. A lot of people, because there's just a lot of people do a lot of things when it comes to this type of to, to the spirituality side of things. When I give when I sell my crystals, I, I always send a bundle of sage, uh, a palo stick, and um, I tell people collect rainwater. Right, that's a natural source of water. It's a natural means of water. Tap water is one thing, but natural so we know that all so all things negatively charged right we have these negative and positive ions inside our body right we have a charge inside our body so when we connect with the earth if that that natural source it automatically pulls the negativity down from us that's why they call it grounding so when you want to cleanse your stones you put them in a natural setting of water or natural essence of water to cleanse them of all the negativity or the illness of whatever they're they're empowering for you you have to recharge them and cleanse them all that so the first thing you got to do is get natural water so rain or you know puddle or something but not a dirty puddle of course or like a lake um stream creek some natural body of water rain so you give them a rinse or a dip uh, depending on its crystal depending on the crystal you have to be careful because some crystals will uh disintegrate in water some won't <laughs> so, yeah it's good good to know which ones too and which ones not also uh i personally like to charge my crystals up in a full moon right 
that way that that puts the power back into them. I set my intentions. I burn my candle. I burn my palo. I burn my sage. I wave them around my my crystals. I'm sitting them in the moonlight. And I'm setting my intentions so they can actually actually do what I want them to do, right? So your so your so your protection crystal, right? If it's if it's been protecting you from this and that and that and this, then you stop wearing it. It's probably because it's just it's been protecting you at all. It's probably filled up with as much magic as, as it can, but it needs to be released and re- revitalized and charged up again. And then once you put it back on your body, it's gonna feel like like it's gonna be cold, right? But 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 that but that's a natural crystal readjusting to you, and they give off a vibration. So it's not it's not a big enough vibration to where you can feel it per se all the time. It's just a very minimum when our body is used to doing this. But crystals fill those little voids that we're needing them for at that point in time. So if we need a protection, whatever void that we, whatever we're vibrating, the, the protection that's being needed, it'll it'll slide through there and it'll, you know, fill that, that little hole for you, you know, as much as it can. But of course, if you're throwing a hot dog down the hallway, don't don't if somebody's after you fucking getting ready to shoot at shooting at you and shit. Don't think just because you get a obsidian crystal is gonna protect you. That's not for you. That's for the people who are watching this. You know, we talk about protection crystals and everything. But you know, by seeking a protection crystal, if you're in that type of environment, maybe it'll change your mind frame and mindset of the type of things you're doing. Being able to get yourself in that type of environment. So hopefully it'll change your mind versus protect you from physical, maybe it'll mentally protect you. That small hole that it needs to swiggle through your ears and get to, to your little brain in there for those young people who I've had this conversation with many a time. In the I'm young guys. To me, I'm still young because I know a lot of older niggas too. But I know a lot of guys out here doing a lot of things that, you know, I'm not, I can't speak on, I'm not out here doing it, but I'd be like, hey man, you really need to find something else to do. Like you have children, you have a long long life ahead of you. Like certain things in life, you know, I've, I've looked death in his eyes a couple of times. There's certain things in life you just don't play with, man. Your life is one. So, but yeah, so your crystals, you gotta get you some sage and some palo and some rainwater and cleanse and recharge the full moon it just passed it might be coming back around the new moon is just as powerful as the full moon a lot of people they just call the full moon on it but the new moon has just as much energy as the past moon because it's significant it signifies a new you right so you charge and you're up you but it but it's some people might say it's dark magic but i was in the eye of the beholder you know <laughs> but I'm not a dark magic guy either. I'm not a light, light, dark, dark witch, like witch. I, I, I don't get into it that deep. But I got a lot of people who do, right? I feel as like my my magic is more so is mentally. I can I'm I'm, a, I'm an alchemist. I'm set out to 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 change minds and mindsets versus you know trying to uh, cast you a spell. Because I'm gonna be like, why? Why do you need a spell? Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 you know, I see a lot of people who who want to love spell, but I be like, if this person is not in love with you, they're not in love with you. Just move on. Big back. Yeah. What? Well, okay. Daddy is calling me. This has been real. So we're going to come back because it's, it's some additional things I want to talk about. Like one of the things I want to talk about is being marriage, being in a marriage and being in the adult entertainment life. Mm-hmm. Hey, 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 come on out. Come on, open the door. Yeah. <laughs> of course, yes. We will definitely link back up. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Um, it's, you know, Sunday, it's, right? it's always nice. Event Sunday, right? Saturday, yes, Sunday. Sunday. Um, doors will open at seven. The event will start at seven thirty sharp. What is it? It's people who listening can't see. Podcast. So, yeah, Spotify. They can't see you. 
Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's an event that um, we're going to be going over digital entrepreneurship. Um, and it's going to be in Dallas at 211 North Herve Street. So, you know, this event is for anyone who is just looking for a better or new opportunity to utilize your phone, your computer, um, your iPad to turn those into assets and just make money online. As long as you have Wi-Fi, you'll be able to make money and increase your income. Already, already. And like I said, I post a link tree down in the bottom. You can find ways to contact her anyway. And on, on that note, ma'am, it's been real. I appreciate your time. I know we had some technical okay. difficulties there in the middle, but hey, that we're human. <laughs> Shit out here is happening. It happens. It happens. So it's been real. I'll catch you later, okay? Of All course. Right. Thank you so much. you've reached this point in the video i just want to tell you thank you thank you and while you're here also i want you to go to my website www.thedistortedcosmos.com while you're there uh, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom you'll see this blog section i'm trying to update that as much as i can uh what but on the website you can also stay up to date with everything that's going on with the podcast i'm really excited for the things that are going on i just want to appreciate you guys you guys really make the podcast go around and don't forget to purchase yourself a hat a mask or we'll have a plenty of items that we're going to be sponsoring and working with other vendors and and other people on the podcast so again thank you for being here enjoy your day thank you have a blessed night